here, down the road, is a cute little quilt shop. Isn't that cute? Let's see if they're open. It says open. So I'm going to try to find out. Let's go in. She said yes, and I get to go in. So if you're ever traveling on this back road out of Lakeview, you're going to find this adorable little house, yellow house, with this awesome little shop. And it's called Goose Tracks. Because if you drive this road, you can actually see a lot of geese on the lakes around here. And the migration of birds through this area is, is huge. Look at that. Look at the little stocking. You got a cowgirl or a cowboy in your life? This is this is a perfect project. <laughs> no problem. Oh, look at that. Oh, and the pictures. Oh, this is for my girlfriend Robin. All her little raccoons she has to deal with. Oh, and someone's in diffused glass. Oh, back there? Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Okay, tell us about that. Did you do that? <laughs> yes, this is what I call um, raggy applique. Raggy. So it's all individual pieces cut and layered down, uh -huh. and then it's with free motion quilting to look hold the, them down. Just the, looks like hair. Which. <gasps> Makes that so you get to decide which side you want to any um, day hang it on, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, and you've been here since 2004. 2004. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you have a website? No, not anymore. No. So, <laughs> so if time. someone sees something on this video, could they call you up? Sure. Okay. So you hear that? You just have to make a call and say, "I want that frog." Did you oh. notice both sides of this one? No. Oh, I saw, oh my gosh, I saw the the duck on this side diving, but I didn't see the didn't see. <laughs> his rear of the end up. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> Depending on how one feels any given day. Yes. That would be the way I would hang it some days. Some days now, it feels like you'd want the rear end up. And the cranes are just, when you stand back from the cranes, they are just They're gorgeous. They're just coming now and starting to mate. They, are they? You see them here in the mountains and the valleys all around here. When I went by Summer Lake, I was really hoping that the whole flock would be there. <laughs> okay, here, you need to listen to him. You need to listen to, I want you to quilt. Oh, this is one of my my quilt group's favorite patterns. <laughs> I must have made a million of those. Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful patterns. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Hey, and this one, take a look at this one. Only available here. So, if you want this one, you're going to have to call up What's on your mind? Ah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I wonder if he was a quilter. <laughs> oh, how? Oh, geez. These um, scenery. So look at this. 
This this isn't like one piece of printed fabric. It's all quilted, just like that dog. Yeah. That's what I call the raggy. Um, oh, it's so pretty. In the corner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you don't want to make it yourself. Oh, no, I meant that. The rabbit. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I didn't care about it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't even see them. But isn't that the way they That's just kind of yeah. I mean, for protection? You can see the eagle with yeah. The, uh, the fish. The fish. Oh, these guys are fun. Do you do the fuse dart? Yes. All of this is mine. Both the glass and oh. I do all of the quilting. You know, I find that crafters, uh, quilters, that there's never only one thing they do. Right. Yeah. Oh, so gorgeous. There's our cow. Welcome to the cabin. Oh, and there's a mermaid. It's just free motion quilting of the antelopes that you see here. Yeah, I was hoping all the way down. I said, oh, I wish I could. I saw a herd of deer. We have deer all the time, oh, though. Yeah. Where, yeah, where we live. And I was looking for antelope. And this is called cowhide. Oh. Now that's Free really, yeah, but that's really neat how you framed it. it. It's just like a painting. Well, there's a couple of them over here. Oh. That, yeah. Again, they're just um, free motion quilting, but like you say, when you you frame it, it kind of gives it a different. Yeah. Oh, that's like a piece of artwork. Let's see, I'm going to tip it up, just to get angle. the glare off of it. Oh my gosh. That. And that. You, that's all free motion quilting. Yeah, but you fabric. did it where it was dimensional. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the. The raggy applique that I was talking about. Uh -huh. So you can see this fabric. Uh -huh. Well, here it is, and I reversed it because oh. a lot of your landscape fabric. So it's all cut, and then it's just like the same free motion quilting I had there. So it does leave it three dimensional. Mm -hmm. And look at this. So if any of you, uh, and it is worth every penny <laughs> of that. <laughs> well. And you can see, like on here, the oh. three-dimensional, how thick that is. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. just mesmerized. You and can touch it. Oh, really? I, <laughs> I want to so. touch. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that fun? That is something. And then where did you get that frame? It's perfect. It's interesting because that particular uh, quilt I made, and it didn't have a frame, it had a black border, and then I don't remember the other border. Uh -huh. And I stumbled upon this frame in an uh, antique store. I loved the frame, and I bought it. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I bought it. When I brought it here, guess what? It fits perfect. So I oh. trimmed and cut off my border. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was meant to be. Yeah, you're being creative. <laughs> This and, is you know, it's perfect for it. Stuff, but, you know, it was just uh, and these these uh, on the canvas type. Uh -huh. I thought because uh, especially some of our younger people, you know, they don't want a traditional quilt. This is all fabric too. Oh, and then you just stretched it over a no, pre-made uh, canvas. Or yeah, I what? used a pre-made canvas uh -huh. and I used steamacine. Yep, steamacine too, and then uh, fused it onto here. Then I sprayed it with the 3M, you know, spray, mm -hmm. the uh, clear satin. And so you can wipe it, you can wash it, and it gives you more of a fresher graphic look. Wow. Uh, whatever you want to And do you it. get that spray like at a Joann's? No, or I, no where do you at get the it? hardware store. At the hardware store. It's paint. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, that, and, yeah. and you spray everything under the sun, but where it's the satin finish, when you touch this, it's still fabric. 
It didn't oh, yeah. give it a plastic feel or anything, but it protects it. That is so beautiful. You know, so okay. I just can't get over this one. I just Isn't this that is fun? like yeah. I mean, it's just like the bark. Well, I had when I saw the fabric, and I bought the fabric, and it mm -hmm. finally came. You know, I love it, but the scale is not good. Uh -huh. So if you start thinking, and so it's like I I. What the devil am I going to do with it? So I thought, well, that kind of looks like rocks and things. And so then I decided, okay, what I would do is, because the scale is so large for the rest of the type of landscape fabrics mm -hmm. that you have, I thought, well, then that just means the tree has to be right up close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and those trees are huge. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah. <laughs> Ponderosa pine. Yeah. You know, they get to be hundreds of feet tall. And so what I did then is I took muslin, batting, and this fabric, and then I free motion quilted it, then I cut it out. Uh -huh. Then this background uh, has muslin in the back, batting, and of course these fabrics, you can see that I free motion quilted on it, and I quilted this tree onto that. So oh. that's why this, not only the scale of the fabric, mm -hmm. but the thickness really brings it forward. Yeah, it is. And, and so was, you, you free motioned it on your regular sewing machine. Oh yeah, just my just little regular, singer. no, yeah. no special. No, nope, just a simple uh -huh. singer. That's and you know, again, it it the fabric is directional. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted branches, <laughs> so directional. What I did is I cut this piece out, mm -hmm. turned it, and found some of the same color, free motions, and you can see here it is too. So even though it was directional. You know, just able a to, little placement, yeah. paying attention to the color. Mm -hmm. Now I got it to, instead of just being a straight tree. Wow. It's beautiful. So. It's really beautiful. Well, they're fun. Yeah. yeah. So, really, this is the theme of your shop, is this landscape and outdoors. Pretty much of all of the animals and the things uh -huh. that we have here. In, yeah. And, uh, our out Oregon Outback, as it's called, and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So, you know, the kingfishers, the sandhill cranes, these are all of our native birds and critters that mm -hmm. run around here. Mm -hmm. And on the fish, you can see the sparkle up here mm -hmm. on, the, on the trout. Mm -hmm. That's Easter egg basket fancy grass. No way. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to say, quilters, quilters can think out of the box. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And, and, and this, the, the fly, here's a silver embroidery floss. Uh huh. And it's actually, it is feathers and that, and then I used a uh, paper clip and bent it. Oh! But when I did the, uh, the fish, again, uh -huh. I quilted it. Um, the multi-layer, uh -huh. and then I cut my uh, fish out, uh -huh. and then quilted it, and I had this piece ready. So then I put the fish down. Can you see this? This is that netting, like bridal. Right, right. Tool, tool. like tool. That's huh? it. So then I took that and folded it randomly. So then I quilted. Here's the water, and I quilted right over the fish and the tool. Between the fish and the tool, that's where. The, the Easter grass. <laughs> oh, my camera's going to probably be shaking because I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so the Easter grass got quilted down to make the fish look wet. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you so. know, that's the thing. That's why you want to take uh, classes from people who have been doing it a while because you uh, learn tricks that, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't... It, it, people are creating ways to get a look that isn't traditional. True. I would have never bought a bag of Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but look at it, it makes I, it shimmer. I didn't shimmery. buy a bag, I had my granddaughter. Had, you know, <laughs> you took it like, out of her yeah, basket. I loved it because, you know, it's that sparkly <laughs> yeah. kind of whatever. And I thought, oh, I really like this, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Right. And then when I was working on my fish, I thought, well, slimy fish. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, my gosh. And so... But I think that uh, what we're seeing uh, is more and more are people thinking out of the box. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, let's try this. And, yeah. and 
honest, sometimes things don't work. I've had plenty of that going, oh, and I keep them as a sample because saying, see, this is what you don't want to try. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right, but, exactly. Uh, and, and like, you know, especially when you get in your landscape, this fabric mm -hmm. is that fabric, that's the back of it. And again, uh -huh. with your landscape fabrics, people really need to start to think, turn it over and look at the other mm -hmm. side, because it has the same hue of the green, so it often works very well. Oh, that was that's in that true. Wolf, that wolf picture. Yeah, um, that wolf picture yeah. is amazing. And by, you know, just reversing the fabric, uh -huh. now, now you have more depth. When you're so there. if someone wanted to buy that wolf picture, they could call you up sure. here and, okay, we I'm going to need all your contact information <laughs> we, because we I am sure. Ship it to them. Yeah, I am yeah. sure that that's right. going to happen. Well. Oh well, thank you so much oh. for letting oh, me kind of. Did you see my holy cow? <laughs> you Vultures have a sense of humor. Oh, yeah, I was going to say you have a sense <laughs> of humor. <laughs> Look at the holy cow. This would you'd have to put that out on Sunday, <laughs> wouldn't you? Holy cow. Oh, and look at you quilted holy cow in there. Yes. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, my gosh. So great. Glare. Oh, look at that. Just like deer do. They hide, but they're always watching us. And look at the price of that. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> well, and it's funny.